Hey, John. First time in your career, teams accomplished 60 wins. What does that mean along with best record in the NBA clinched? Uh, it's just a, it's an honor. It's a blessing to be on a 60-win team. Um, it's a lot of hard work that went into that, um, especially after, you know, coming up short last season, you know, responding, coming back, and, and not skipping any steps. So um, I think we're on track. 60 wins. And when the playoffs start, it's, it's back to square one. And how did you see your game tonight? It seemed like you, you stayed engaged throughout the game, despite the fact maybe things weren't going for you on the offensive side. Well, I felt like I had a shit game tonight. Uh, just wasn't feeling my best, but um, luckily we're on a great team that, you know, we find ways to win. But definitely feel like I played a little better in the fourth. I uh, felt a little better in the fourth, but, you know, just a tough night. Jalen, uh, you guys went up by double digits in the second. They made their run, and then, like you said, you, you had a big fourth quarter, and you guys sort of ballooned that lead out. What is it about this team, and that's been a trend this year, what is it about this team that's so good at sort of like responding to runs and just ballooning these leads so rapidly? Um, well, I think it's just we are extremely talented. I think we well coached as well. So, you know, you put those things together, you know, you're destined to have some really good games. They had some players out, you know. Uh, we try not to take our foot off the gas. We was able to pull away towards the end. Jalen, uh, you, you've talked a lot about recommitting the defense this year. Obviously, you've had a big year on that end. Uh, how much has it just been the you know recommitment and the focus on that? And how much has the coaching staff you know kind of put you in the best position to succeed within the system here this year? Um, I think it's just it was a it was more so of an emphasis. On my on my part, you know, I think I've always been a good defender, um, but you know, we've had over the years we had some guys that took majority of the matchups, like Smart, you know, or you know, um, and it just, you know, I guess allowed a little bit of comfort. So this year, I wanted to reemphasize that I was going to be the one that was taking on those matchups, and like regardless how I'm feeling, you know, the defense has always been there for the most part this season. You know, even tonight. I didn't feel my best. I feel like, you know, being able to create plays and stuff on defense. So, no, I think just this whole season, man, it's just been an emphasis on my back, on my behalf. And, you know, it wasn't nothing the coaches said or did or anything like that. I think it was on me. Jalen, what you're observing, is that affecting sometimes that affect your physicality or your how you feel with Ramadan? Is that just sometimes uh, hurt physically affect you? No. No? And then when you have a game, the first three quarters, what ke what keeps you engaged? What says, okay, Jalen, like, I'm not going to let this, I'm not going to play this bad in the fourth quarter, play it poorly. I'm going to bounce back and bounce back in the middle of a game like that. Like, what what pushes you to do that? Uh, just mental fortitude. I think, you know, just preparing your mind for the challenges to come. You know, um, you might be in a playoff game where you're not feeling well, you banged up. Um, your hand hurt or your back hurt or whatever the case may be, you know, and nobody around here wants to hear no excuses. So, you know, and tonight, you know, it was a good opportunity to kind of prepare for some of those moments, you know, things not going your way, stay locked in, you know, and the time may, may change at any given time, at any given point. Jalen, you mentioned your hand and you told us, uh, I think in New Orleans, you were going to have it looked at. What did, you were questionable tonight. What did, did you have it looked at? What were the results? And how did it feel tonight? Um, yeah, uh, I think I got a, like a, a sprain or, you know, like a, a strain on a, a ligament in my hand. But I think it's fine. You know, it's something I'm not concerned with going forward. But it would bother with me. It bothered me a little bit tonight. But part of it is, you know, working through it, playing through it, because that gives you a little bit more information towards down the line if, you know, things were to get any worse. but. I think there's nothing to be concerned about. And KP put on a show tonight. How strong is that connection? How has he grown with this group? I mean, the passes between him and Derek, you and him, and Al as well. Yeah, you know, KP, um, he's a, a key piece in everything that we're trying to do. So, you know, just trying to get him going, you know. And when KP is physical, when he's challenging guys at the rim, when he's alert to the doubles, he's not – you know, flopping and he, he's holding his ground. You know, KP is, he's been, you know, extremely impactful. So we just want to encourage to bring that side out because the more we see that KP, the less we'll lose. So, you know, it's, it's 
we're excited for this journey we're about to embark with the playoffs, and uh, we want to make sure we click into all cylinders. Jay Jalen, just following up on that question on KP, just, you know, you guys didn't have a threat quite like him last year. What give, what uh, what impact would you say he's having as you guys are getting ready to go on this postseason run? He's a, a huge impact, you know. It's just his, just him being on the floor, his ability to shoot the ball, but then his ability to post up mismatches and, and be efficient in those regards. But then, like, what's most important to me is, like, the defensive side, his ability to just be solid, put his hands up, and contest shots at the rim. When he's doing that and he makes his mind up and doing that and not taking any plays off, um, I think that takes our team to a whole other level. Um, and we need we encourage that to, to be more and more because in the, in the playoffs, it'd be one possession, two possessions that can determine the game. Um, so, you know, we need that KP to show up, be strong, and, you know, be that impactful player that we, that we have seen all year. Thank you, John.